What's up, everybody? This is Baba Bomani, and welcome to Baba Bomani's Basement. Today, our good friends at the William Schmidt Center are sending us on an amazing field trip to the Prince George's County Landfill. We are going to learn what happens to our trash. Keep an eye out for vocabulary words and make sure to ask questions when we have reached the end. Let's go. Okay, this is our landfill scale house. This is where all the trash trucks come in. They have to get the weight. When they go back out and unload, they have to come back out to the outbound scale. They reweigh the vehicle to determine how much waste was unloaded. I just want to bring to your attention some of our efforts that we do to divert a lot of the waste before it gets into the waste stream before it goes into our landfill. And this is our waste diversion lot. The landfill accepts small amounts of wood waste. It also accepts white goods, tires and refrigerators, which need to be taken apart by experts to remove the harmful chemicals. Once that is completed and certified, then we put it into the recycling stream. And this is actually the fill face where all the trash that can't be recycled or isn't recycled goes and we pile it up. Right now we're standing on more than 60 feet of trash. What do we have over here over my shoulder? We have trash trucks coming in from, I believe you just seen the scale house. And then they come in to this point. We have spotters direct the trucks back to the fill area, to the mountain where the bulldozers push it up spread it out, we try to put it in at about a foot thick level, and then we have a compactor that compacts the trash. We try to get the 1,500 pounds per cubic yard comp compaction. At the end of the day, the, all this trash has to be covered with a minimum of six inches of fill cover mostly soil cover, and we do have an optional tarp to just put over or for the night. And then the next morning, we take the tarp right back off and then put, start putting trash right back where we were. All of this tries to get as much volume into this airspace as possible. Two byproducts that we have to deal with as a, as a result of the landfilling waste is landfill gas and leachate. Landfill gas as a result of decomposition, and as a result of the decomposition, there's a methane gas that's produced. Then there's leachate. Leachate is stormwater that leaches down through the trash, similar to coffee. Everybody makes coffee in the mornings. They take a, a coffee pot, they have the, the coffee grounds, and then they put water in it. The water goes down through the coffee grounds, and the end product is coffee, which is collected in the pot. Same thing with the landfill. The stormwater leaches down through the trash, which would be like your coffee grounds. And then we have a liner system underneath that collects, that's the pot, that collects the leachate. Now, what do we do with that? We can't allow it to, into the environment. We have to protect the environment. So we take the gas, we clean it, and we use it as a fuel source to produce power. There is too much trash. What can we do? The William S. Smith Center has some tips for you. There is too much trash. What can we do? We made a mountain out of trash and the mountain grew. With too much trash, life will come to a standstill. So we take trash to our sanitary landfill. The sanitary landfill is an engineered place that was designed to safely store waste. When you come to the landfill, you have to hold your nose. You smell all the things that are dying and decomposed. And there is leech eight. It's really quite a bother. It's when the trash pile gets soaked in storm water. If we run out of landfill, we be on high alert. So we find as many ways that we can to divert. Only trash in the landfill. Yeah, that's it. One of the things we learn right here with Camp Schmidt.